Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Gita Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concepts: shutdown point, normal profit, and break-even point. Now let us start with the shutdown point. So shutdown point we can discuss in two divisions. One is shutdown point in short run. Now first let us discuss shutdown point in short run. Later we can discuss shutdown point in the long run. Here you can see shutdown point means it is a point at which SMC curve cuts AVC curve at its minimum point you can see here dear students smc curve that means short run marginal cost curve will cut average variable cost curve at its minimum point we call it as shutdown point diagrammatically you can see here we have on x axis output and on y axis cost so here you can see average variable cost and vari average variable cost is minimum at this point. You can see here at this point average variable cost is minimum and when average variable cost is minimum at that point SMC curve will cut AVC curve from below and this position this point we call it as shutdown point this point we call it as shutdown point now let us discuss shutdown point in the long run so if you consider in the long run we can say here the shutdown point is a point at which lrmc lrmc means long run marginal cost curve so lrmc curve cuts lrac curve at its minimum point LRAC means here long run average cost curve. Okay, here you can see LRMC curve will cut LRAC curve at its minimum. So you can see in the diagram, it is the point. You can see this red color point. LRAC is minimum at this point. Okay, at this point, LRAC is minimum and when lrac is minimum lrmc will cut lrac at its minimum and this point we call it as this point we call it as this point we call it as shutdown point now let us discuss what is normal profit normal profit we call it as minimum level of profit that is very essential are needed to keep firm in the existing business. If a firm need to continue its business means it has to earn normal profit. Normal profit is nothing but a minimum level of profit which is essential to keep firm in the existing business. We call it as normal profit. A firm that does not make normal profit is not going to continue in the business. So if it is not able to, if a firm fail to earn normal profit, then it is going to close its business. Normal profit, therefore, it is a part of firm's total cost. So we say that normal profit will be included in the total cost. So it is a part of total cost. Normal co cost is very essential. When normal profit is included in the total cost, then normal profit can be considered as a situation of zero profit condition. So we know that what is the formula for profit? So profit is denoted by pi. Profit is equal to total revenue total revenue minus total cost so when you take a difference of total revenue minus total cost if you get a zero then this situation we call it as normal profit zero profit condition we call it as firm earning normal profit because in the total cost itself normal profit will be included 
if firm is going to earn anything over and above the normal profit then that profit we call it as super normal profit i repeat once again if firm is going to earn any profit which is over and above the normal profit then that condition we call it as super normal profit now let us discuss break even point what do you mean by break even point it is a point on supply curve at which a firm earns only normal profit we call it as break even point of the firm i repeat once again break even point is a point on supply curve at which a firm earns only normal profit we call it as break even point you can see in this short run which is the break even point means here it is a point of minimum ac cost average cost ac is nothing but a average cost so it is a point of minimum ac at which supply curve cuts sac curve we call it as break even point you can see diagrammatically before that you should understand one the supply curve is nothing but a short run marginal cost curve of a firm under perfect competition firm's marginal cost itself is a supply curve of a firm you can see in the diagram sac curve and smc curve are given and at this point this point is the minimum point of sac at minimum point of sac smc curve will cut from below and from this point from this point the rising part of smc curve we call it as supply curve of a firm so because of that reason we call break even point is a point on supply curve it is a point on supply curve where it earns normal profit that position we call it as break even point or you can see this one the minimum of ac minimum of ac at which supply curve cuts so at which supply curve cuts sac curve we call it as break even point even you can see in the long run in the long run it is a point okay it is a point of minimum long run average cost so on minimum of long run average cost at which supply curve is going to cut that point we call it as break even point of the firm here also you can see in the diagrammatically here the long run average cost is minimum at this point okay and here smc lrac curve is cutting or cut lrac curve at its minimum so from this point the supply or rising part of long run marginal cost itself we call it as supply curve so you can see this one as a supply curve so again you can see break even point is nothing but a, a point on supply curve at which firm earns only normal profit so this point we call it as break even point of a firm dear students you can make use of this notes it is very important for four marks and you can get a good marks dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much